Assalamu alaikum viewers today I am going to solve this kind of problem with the conjugate beam method the beam is loaded with a distributed load and to support it's a simply supported beam with the hinge support and roller support so you have to find deflection with the conjugate beam method so here is the reaction this is omega L by 2 and here is omega L by 2 so if i draw the moment diagram of this one this will be kind of like this this is omega l square by 8 and this is positive we know for conjugate beam method we just uh, transfer this uh, moment diagram into m by ei format but uh, look this one this is not linear shape so the area calculation for this one is not easy so you have to find out the bending moment equation for this beam at first i will draw the conjugate beam so for the conjugate beam the load will be like this this is positive so the load will be upward and here is our support the support will be same as real beam because this two is simply supported and this is a hinge and roller support so you have to put here the moment function so cut a section at x so if i draw the section so here is the reaction w l by 2 and here is the shear v and this is the moment m and this is w so what will be the result this is m is equal to w l uh, l by 2 wl by 2 into this is x distance this is from x so this is x and minus w x into x by 2 so this is the calculation for moment so this one can be written as if we take wx by 2 is common so l minus x so from this so this will be uh, situated here wx by 2 into l minus x and you have to convert this one at uh, e, uh, m by ei format so you have to divide this one with ei so this is the load at uh, conjugate beam so you have to find out the reaction so this is a semi symmetrical uh, beam section so you can divide this with 2 so this the reaction if i take this ra and this is rb so ra equals to rb will be wx by 2 l minus x by ei and this full will be divided by 2 so this will be the reaction of this one now we know the shear function vx is equal to wx dx so this is the load function so the integration of load function is defined as the shear function and moment is vx dx so this one can be written as a double integration of wx d square x so you have to find out the value of reaction so you have to do integration so just integrate this one with a limit of 0 to l this is the length of l so 0 to l then it will be find out that uh, w l cube by 24 ei and this is the value of reaction so here the reaction will be w l cube by 24 ei and this is also the value of shear now you have to find out the moment diagram for mid section that is the deflection of this beam so you have to cut the beam at midpoint so if i cut this beam at midpoint then this will become here is shear and this is moment and the reaction is wl cube by 24 ei and the uh, this load is w x by 2 l minus x 
if I took anticlockwise is positive and at this point so this will be m plus wl cube by 24 ei into this is l by 2 i take the section at midpoint so this is l by 2 and here is minus w x by 2 l minus x you have to find out the centroid of this one so we don't know the centroid so you have to take l by 2 this is x distance so you can take this one like this l by 2 minus x and here uh, this is ei so this is the moment of this one at this point you have to uh, integrate this one because this is the value of the load and you have to find out um, this one's uh, limit put the limit it 0 to l by 2 and this is dx and it is equals to 0 finally the value of this one will be minus 5 omega l to the power 4 by 384 ei you can calculate from this and this is easy integration and this is the moment of this reaction and this is the moment result of this one so uh, this is the solution and this is negative so the deflection deflection is downward So the deflection will be like this and this is the y our deflection so this is how you can calculate the deflection for a beam which is loaded with distributed load and with conjugate beam method thank you for watching this video